welcome to Firing by the Fire, where we're going through the book of Acts as the remnant to see what it is the first church was and what they became through the Holy Spirit. Not this Sunday show or this mega church concept, but what was the church really meant to be so we can become the church, not through any sort of program of modern technology or program of modern thinking, but focused on what it is the Word of God and the Holy Spirit tells us to be doing. And then we were meeting the first Saturday of every month. We'll meet this coming up Saturday, the first Saturday of February at 401 South Walnut in Center U, Missouri at the Old School. Uh, please consider joining us or we'll be live as well. We'll be sending out emails as well because if you haven't signed up for the remnant emails um we're going to put that link below please do it's just really a way we could all connect uh we're so you know what it is that's coming up next but as we've gone through this book we really focused on seeking the holy spirit and then supporting what it is through prophecy so when the holy spirit says something and you could look at prophecy and say well the prophecy said that was meant to happen that is what we're supposed to do. And that's what these first disciples did was Judas had, had betrayed them only, only a month or so earlier. And then he killed himself. But according to prophecy, inspired by the Holy Spirit and written through David, they knew they had to elect another. Now, also, because this is firing by the fire, um, God told us to shoot a gun while we did this as I prayed about this series and I put it off. I thought that's a terrible idea. Uh, but he just kept saying, do it. And then all of a sudden, what we realized is that YouTube had changed their algorithm. So just by having shots fired in the background, uh, this video <laughs> will catch in the algorithm a little bit better. So that's what we're after. Um, but please consider joining us for Saturday of every month. We're just going to pick it up where we left off. Uh, Acts 1, starting verse 20. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his habitation be desolate and let no one live in it and let another take his office. Therefore, these men who have accompanied us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John to that day when he was taken up, from us, one of these must become a witness with us of his resurrection. And they proposed two, Joseph called Barsabas, who was sure named Justice, and Matthias. And they prayed and said, you, O Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which of these two you have chosen to take part in this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place and they cast their lots, and the number fell on Matthias, and he was numbered with 11 apostles. And I'm going to stop there for a second because I want you to kind of focus on what just took place. Through the Holy Spirit, they sought the prophecies, and the prophecies told them what to do. Then they sought the Spirit, and they chose by casting lots. This would go against every business decision that a church has ever made in the last hundred years. Business decisions by churches in the last hundred years were based off of things like data. What brings in the most money? What has worked in the past? What new things can we try to bring in people now? What has worked for other people? Let's gather everybody together and let's come up with something witty that we can convince other people to come visit us at our church. And then something really awesome, a great show, so they stay. That's what modern church business is like. Casting lots for leadership through the Holy Spirit, divinely appointed by prophecy. I wanna ask you a moment, have you ever ever seen your church do that? If you have, please put it in the comments below. But have you ever seen a church? Now, I don't mean we prayed about it and, you know, we're going to vote for Tom. Not that. But not just praying about it, but literally leaving it up to the Spirit of God. Because I'm going to repeat what I said last time. It's very important we understand this. 
the Holy Spirit manifests the works of God through mankind. So if the Holy Spirit is going to divinely appoint somebody to be in this position, it's not going to be through a vote. Because Satan has everybody's ear. And the Holy Spirit only has some people. Now, the Holy Spirit can do whatever it wants throughout this world. It, it, it's equal with God. But Satan whispers in everybody's ear. He whispers in the atheist's ear. He whispers in the, in the, in everybody, the, the anti-theist's ear. He worships in the devil worshiper's ear. He worships in the Christian's ear. The Holy Spirit does what it wishes. But it manifests the works of of God through not just all of mankind, but the remnant, the mankind that is willing to say, yes, Holy Spirit, I will go do that thing. That's who it's whispering in its ear. And it's definitely whispering in the apostles' ear. It's definitely whispering in these first, uh, the first church's ear. It's definitely whispering in all of their ear and it's gonna consume their body and it's gonna consume their mouths and they're gonna speak tongues here in a moment. Like, this is how the Holy Spirit works. I mean, now don't, the Holy Spirit isn't limited to only Christians. The Holy Spirit can do whatever it wishes. But Satan talks to everybody. Satan talks to everybody. So they don't do it through a vote. They don't do it through what makes the most business sense. They don't do it through what will attract everybody. You know, well, there's this, you know, there's this uh, church down the road. You know, they, they're doing, you know, this thing on Saturday night with music. Maybe we should do a thing on Saturday. No, it's not what they're doing. And the Holy Spirit is not going to lead you to glory. That's for sure. The Holy Spirit is going to lead you to places you don't want to go. The Holy Spirit is going to lead you to places that are going to make you feel uncomfortable. The Holy Spirit is going to lead you possibly to you laying down your life for Jesus Christ. That's how the Holy Spirit manifests the works of God through mankind. If the works of God are being manifest through mankind, Satan's going to try to stop it. If the works of the world are being manifest through mankind, which it is, you can see that everywhere you look, it's going to prosper. And you have to understand that because people are looking for this prosperity preaching that is a lie and it's satanic. And the sooner you wake up and realize that, you know, and I really, I kind of come back to, I think that's why I'm out here. This is, you know, I'm out here in the freezing cold. I got a nice fire. It is nice. I love the woods. Don't get me wrong. But I would much rather be in a heated church. But even if, and I'm out here by myself with my dog here, but even if nobody ever watched this video, the rocks themselves, these rocks, they will cry out to the glory of God, unlike any mega church in the world can. And that's the reality of how the Holy Spirit works through mankind. It's not that way. It's by picking up your cross and following him. And if that feels easy and comfortable and wonderful to you, then you're probably going down the wrong path. If it feels uncomfortable, but deep down you're proud of it because it's you're doing it for your father. Like I'm proud of this. I'm proud that I'm down here in the morning in the freezing cold doing this because my father asked me to, and I'm proud to do it. But it's still uncomfortable. <laughs> and I, I'm telling you, the further we get into the prophecy, the reality of prophecy, what will, the further we get into prophecy becoming reality, the end times, the more uncomfortable this is going to get. And the more comfortable those who are worshiping the Antichrist are going to get. Because the Antichrist is going to have big mega churches and big bands, and big smoke machines. While the remnant is hiding out in the wilderness like outlaws. That's what that looks like, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
All right, so here's from a holster. Uh, it's got a lot of bulky stuff on. This is probably gonna be more difficult, but this is the reality. You know, I made a video on why I sh uh, go to the range in a suit coat is because, you know, it's hard to put your arms full. It's hard to work in a suit coat, you know, with a gun. So um, I think it's good. It's good to practice this stuff. And I'm glad I am because again, I, I really tend to just shoot one, you know, a different gun every time I uh, go shooting. And it's nice to be able to really focus on the guns I carry um, and focus on my quick draw, which is really what I'm uh, working on here. So uh, just trying to get a couple shots on target uh, as quick as I can. I, I'm terrible at this. Again, I'm, I'm being vulnerable and being honest with this here. So be, be nice in the comments. I, I obviously know I'm terrible at it. That's why I'm working on it. So here we go. Harder than it looks, uh, especially this bulky stuff. It's it's all in the way. Um, I remember talking to a, a teacher one time and taught uh, quick draw, and he had said that uh, he would put like keys in his pocket so he can knock his coat out of the way real quick. Makes sense. <laughs> Not sure what happened there. I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going to keep practicing. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Get out there and practice, by the way. So, hope this video helps. Again, Join us um, at this first Saturday. It'll be the first Saturday of every month at 401 South Walnut in Center View, Missouri. There is camping available. I'll put that link below. Email Leo if you want camping. There'll definitely be food, that kind of thing. Uh, so any thoughts or insight, put it below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests. So please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns. Now, this is firing by the fire, so I'm going to kind of make myself vulnerable here. <laughs> I can't do gun reviews anymore, but I've decided I'm going to be more of a man of one or two guns. And I'm just going to focus on my skill set with those guns. Uh, so I'm going to be working on, I, last time I was kind of working on a draw from the pocket. I'm going to work on a draw from the holster with this tiny little Smith & Wesson bodyguard here. Also, we're going to have, there, there will also be camping available. If you need camping, I'll put that link below. There will also be food available. Um, all that will be below. Please consider joining us first Saturday of every month. This first Saturday of February at 401 South Walnut. Centerview, Missouri.